six, difference of two. 30 under 8, difference of 2. Difference 2 is 3. So, and difference is meant to be added. So, we had the difference, which is 9, 8, 8, 4. So, we come here and write 4, 8, 8, 9. So, these are the two values for the numerator. And it should be noted that in between the values, you have a multiplication sign. And in logarithm, we had when you have a multiplication sign, and we subtract when we have a division sign. So we have a multiplication side. That means we had this. So by having this, we have 7, we have um, 3, 13, we have 16, 7, then we have 3.4. So this is what we have. Then we stop at this. Then we deal with the denominator, which has 8.04. The denominator has 8.04. There's a digit number before the decimal so it becomes zero points then we we'll go to our logarithm of number and check for 80 under 4 80 under 4 so 80 under 4 gives gives 90 53 80 under 4 gives 90 53 so we have 90 53 here so this is the numerator and this is the denominator. So if you want, if you now want to evaluate the numerator and the denominator, it can it, it, it is deduced from here that the what separates the numerator from the denominator is the division sign. So and when you have division sign in logarithm, you subtract. So you subtract the numerator from the denominator, and you have four one here as eight. 6 or 1 here that's 4.3 so this is what we have as the overall so here when we have our final answer then we will result we will result into antilog the use of antilog i want to use antilog we don't consider the first digit that's the digit you have, you have before the decimal we we'll go to the others we have 46 86 84 we have 46, 84. So we go to the antilog of numbers and check for 46 under 8, difference of 4. Antilog of numbers, 46 under 8. Under 8, which is 29, 38. 29, 38. Difference of 4. Difference of 4. So that is 3. The difference of what is 3. So we had the difference based on the pattern we've been following. So we have this. So we have 2941. Now this one now take its cost. And the way 3 point takes its cost is this. If you have 3 points, definitely it will move 4 places. So when it starts the moving from here, 1, 2, 3, 4. So it stop here. So 2, 9, 4, 9. And to, to 3 significant figure here, it will now be 2, 9, 4, 0. That has to 3 significant figure. So this is the answer for, the, for this question. Use tables to calculate the following. Give answers to 3 significant figure. Question number 1. We have six seven eight zero zero divided by eight point seven one times thirty six point eight. Question number two we have eight one eight point three times seventy two point five over two point nine zero. 905. So these are the two questions that have been drawn from the topic. Now we are to resolve this into the use of logarithm table. Solution to the first question A. We write our number log reading 
and uh, it is noted that we deal with the, with the numerator first. So you have this. We have this as our numerator. So how many digit number do you have here? One, two, three, four, five. Five digits number. So it will be reduced to four. Four points. Then we'll go to our four figure table and check for 67 under eight. Difference of zero. We go to our four figure table. This time around, we go to no, uh, log reading of numbers. We check for 67. 67 under 8. That is 83, 12. 83, 12. So we've been able to resolve our numerator. Then the denominator we have 8.71 and 36.8. That is the denominator. So here, I can put an arrow like this to justify that this can move to this other side. So here, we have 8.71. Since we have a digit number before the decimal, automatically it will be zero point. Then we'll go to our log reading of number and check for 87 under one. 87 under one, that is, 9400 9400 Then the second case we have 36 on uh, 36.8 we have two digits before the decimal automatically it will be reduced to one point then we we'll go to our fourth figure table and check for 36 under 8 36 under 8 this is under 8 is 5658 56 58. Since we have only value for the numerator, so this is the log reading. But in the case of the denominator, we have two values, and there is multiplication, uh, multiplication sign in between those two values. Automatically, we are going to add them. So by so doing, we have 8505.2. So this is our denominator. And this is our numerator. So, and the difference between the denom uh, numerator and denominator is division. So that means we bring our numerator down and we combine our denominator, which is this. But since we have a division sign in between them, then we subtract. So in so doing, we have 4, 5, 2. Then we have 3.2. So we have 2.3254. 2.3254. So we don't consider this when we are checking for our antelope of number first. We check for this four digit after the decimal. So we go to log reading um, antelope of numbers rather and check for 32 under 5. Difference 4. Antilogue of numbers. 32. 32 under 5. That's 21, 13. 21, 13. Difference of 4. 32 under 5. Difference of 4. So difference of 4 is 2. So and difference is meant to be added. So we have the difference. So we have this. So this would now be our result. Our, our overall result will now be 2115. Because of the fact that you have to two points, then this other side determines the position of, of our decimal. So by so doing, that means it will shift three places. One, two, three points. So the point will be here. So the answer, by using logarithm table to evaluate this expression the final result is 211.5 question 2 you have 818.3 times 72.5 divided by 2.905 so we we'll resolve the numerator 818.3 72.5 so here we have 
three de digits before the decimal, automatically it will be reduced to two points. Then we check for 81 under 8. Logarithm of numbers. 81 under 8. That is 91, 28. 81 under 8. Difference 3. 81 under 8. Difference 3 is 2. So we have 2. Because difference is meant to be added. So we have 0, 3, 9, 1. So we have 9, 1, 3, 0 for the first case. For the second case, we have 72.5. We have two digits before the decimal. Automatically, it will be reduced to one point. Then we check for 72 under 5. 72 under 5 is 8603. 8603. So since you have multiplication sign in between the two values of the numerator, you had. So we have 3, 3, 7, 7.4 so that has been resolved then the denominator you have two points we have two points nine zero five so the decimal is the, there is a digit number before the decimal automatically you have zero points then we check for 29 under zero logarithm of numbers 